हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक डिमांड कर्व द क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ एनी गुड इज द अमाउंट ऑफ द गुड दैट बायर्स आर विलिंग एंड एबल टू परचेज लॉ ऑफ डिमांड अदर थिंग्स इक्वल when the price of a good rises the quantity demanded of the good falls and when the price falls the quantity demanded rises that means there is a negative or an inverse relationship between price of a good and quantity demanded other things equal means that factors affecting demand other than price of a good remains constant why we are taking them as constant because we want to see only the impact of price of a good on quantity demanded so in order to isolate its effect we have to keep other factors as constant clear on one side we have taken price of ice cream cone and on the other side we have taken quantity of cones demanded suppose if the price of ice cream cone is dollar 0 then the consumer will demand 12 cones as the price increased to dollar 0.50 quantity of cones demanded reduced to 10 cones as the price increases further quantity of cones demanded reduces and when the price of ice cream cone reaches dollar 3 quantity of cones demanded becomes zero consumer does not buy any ice cream at all at a price of dollar 3 this table is known as demand schedule demand schedule is a table that shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded holding constant everything else that influences how much of the good consumers want to buy here we have two axes this is the origin on the vertical axis we have taken price of ice cream cone and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity of ice cream cones now when the price of ice cream cone was dollar 0 quantity of cones demanded is 12 cones so when the price is 0 quantity of cones demanded is 12 cones that means this point and when the price increases to dollar 0.50 quantity of cones demanded reduced to 10 cones that means this combination this one and we can plot other combinations in the same way when the price reaches dollar 3 quantity of cones demanded becomes zero now we will join these combinations and this is our demand curve so a decrease in price leads to increase in quantity demanded clear thank you